Welcome to WebBikeWorld.com. This time we're taking a look at the very unique Roof Boxer V8. For the full review, more photos, and all the details on this helmet and many more, please visit WebBikeWorld.com. The Roof Boxer was way ahead of its time when it was first released way back in 1995, and the basic design is still with us after all these years. We reviewed both the original Roof Boxer and the Roof Boxer V some time ago, and those reviews have been very popular with WebBikeWorld.com visitors over the years. The Boxer is definitely a polarizing helmet, and you sort of have to suspend your normal motorcycle helmet review criteria to consider it, because it's still very different than any other helmet available today. So be sure to read the full WebBikeWorld.com review for more information. The original Roof Boxer was the first dual homologated flip-up helmet to allow the rotating visor to move all the way to the rear. All of the Boxer variants are still dual homologated in Europe, so they meet the safety standards for riding as both a full face and open face or jet style helmet. This Boxer V8 is in the graphique color pattern, which looks really nice. It has a semi matte finish that's a perfect match for the helmet shape and style. The Boxer V8 and other Roof Boxer helmets are available in a wide range of colors, so it's hard to pick just one favorite. As you can see, the Boxer has a very unique rotating flip-up visor system, so let's take a look at that. The main distinguishing characteristic of the Boxer V8 variant is the locking snaps on the side for the rotating visor. The red tab along the bottom is spring-loaded, and you push it to unlock the tabs on either side, which snap onto metal posts embedded into the helmet shell. This frees the flip-up visor, which then can be rotated all the way to the rear, and the helmet can be worn then in the jet-style open-face configuration. Let's take a closer look at the snaps. You push the red spring-loaded bar on the bottom and pull out to release the snap on the tab. It's very easy to do, although it takes a couple of tries when you first wear the helmet to learn where the snaps line up. Here it is again. Push in the tab on both sides of the helmet to release the locks, and then you can rotate the flip-up visor. The face shield is available in various tints. Open or close it by pushing on the metal post at the top center. It's held by friction and it's homologated for use as a face shield with the helmet in both full face and jet configuration. The Boxer V8 has two vents on the front sides of the chin bar that can be open. The top vent is a single venturi channel with a slider in the center. It allows the front and rear vents to open slightly, but the slider is a bit bulky as you can see. The padding is classic roof boxer with a unique internal shape that's a bit different from most helmets, so be sure to read the full webbikeworld.com review for all the details. The chin strap is a microlock type, and it's pretty strong, as is the fiberglass helmet shell. A roof boxer was tested to the Snell standard back in 2003 by an independent certified lab, and it passed the tests, although the helmet was never submitted to Snell, nor was it sold in the U.S. So that's a quick look at the very unique Roof Boxer V8 motorcycle helmet. For all the details, specifications, lots more photos, and our opinion on this helmet, please read the full WebBikeWorld.com review. Thanks for watching.